<laughs> hey guys, Joe Deary, Powerful Improvements. Big Quinn is with me on the job today. And uh, we are out here in Putnam, Connecticut. And we got five projects today. Uh, first one is this house. Uh, we're doing gutters. And as you can see, the roof is infested with moss. Very, very bad. Um, but they are replacing this roof because it's very, very aged. So we're not upselling anything here today. Just cleaning the gutters and making them function. Okay, you can see they are loaded right up. I want to show you guys one in the back. Hold on. That's just beautiful. Look at that. And of course, the roof is completely infested too. Same with that high gutter. And same with the one over there. House is filthy, but we're not washing it. No money for that today. All we can do is clean these. All right, I'm on the ladder. 8 a.m. starting the day. These things are gonna be fun. Oh yeah, baby. Good, All right, we got Big Quinn, about 60 feet in the air, scooping the trash out of the big back gutter, breaking them in. It's nice to have a young guy on the job with you that can move things around. Man, these things are packed, packed, packed today. Yeah, I know it's kind of corny, but the cones make you look like a professional. <laughs> Get taken seriously. You see a couple orange cones, boy. You know it's uh, you hit the big time. So this uh, gutter cleaning, which Quinn is finishing in the back, just turned into a house wash for us also. I did not upsell it. The lady came out and asked. Uh, she'd been previously telling me that they didn't have any money and stuff like this, so... Uh, you know, doing anything additional was not in the cards, but then she came back and said, how much to wash the house? I gave her a really sweet deal. Since we're already here, uh, you know, sometimes it's better, better than leaving money on the table. Just give them, give them something attractive, know your audience. So I have freshened up my batch mix. I just added like about five or six gallons of straight bleach. I got 60 gallons of straight uh, shock yesterday at the pool store. So I'm good to go for a few days. So this was the remaining uh six or nine gallons what i don't remember whatever it was about half full and i filled it all the way up with straight shock now so hopefully i can uh you know give everything a boost there because i was running the dregs yesterday and there's still some of that in there i'm using la awesome as my surfactant today for my house wash this la awesome also makes laundry detergent it's not just that crazy gutter cleaner stuff they do make all sorts of stuff like you know different soaps um, and they sell them at the dollar store so this is 64 ounces and it's from the dollar store so one dollar and there's a half a jug in there. Uh, so I had about 50 cents worth of soap and 15 gallons of uh, downstreaming mix. So I'm ready to go. I'm going to fire it up and we're going to crank this house out. And it is five of nine, roughly. Let's we'll see how long it takes. I'm going to squirt it at the foundation until the soap starts to come out. All right. And the, this end and the back of this house are filthy, filthy. So it's a overcast humid day i'm going to soak the crap out of both sides the back and the end and i'm going to let it dwell and then i'm going to go wash the front and i'm going to come back 20 minutes or so half hour later and rinse this it's not going to dry today it's going to come out beautiful using the walmart soaper tip downstreaming hopefully 0.9 or so
All right, bud. I hope you get that ladder down in just a minute. All right. Before, this thing's pretty close to my gun and freaking sounded like a gunshot when I went off. So scared the crap out of me. Thankfully, I have an extra 50 feet on the truck. So now I'm working with 150 for the day and I'm maxed out right here. So I might have to stop at Lowe's or something and get another hose. Okay, we are all the way done. Quinn's finishing up the wrap up on the hoses over there. It is 10 of 10. So less than two hours, including the gutters. House took me about 45, 50 minutes. I did blow a hose uh, mid-wash, so that shaved a few minutes on me. Uh, but this is that gutter that was with all the growth in the back. It's really good. And then all the filth came off of this house. This house was filthy, filthy. And everything came off with that uh, hybrid dreg refreshed mix that I made. So I'm real happy. And we got Quinn on the ladder. So we're out, we're heading to the next job. All right, Quinn and I are out here on job number two. Uh, we had to stop at the um, tractor supply store and I got myself an extra section of hose. I've not heard anything good about this hose. So hoping that I don't have to use it. And then after I get my new hose, I'm gonna buy the same thing again as gray non mocking. When that comes in, if I haven't used this, I'll just return it. I stopped at the dollar store and got myself 10 more containers of uh, LA Awesome laundry detergent with oxygen. And uh, I like the way that's working for my surfactant. It takes about half of one of those containers for me to make 15 gallons of house wash. So Quinn's getting our water connected on this house, log cabin. He's going to keep it wet for me. Uh, we are washing the roof that's on the sides of these chimneys or this chimney. There's a lot of moss on that. It's very black from the road. And we're also gonna put a new cap up on the top of that chimney for the guy. So we're doing this roof that's flat and this roof that's flat. So, I mean, you can see that nothing's gonna stick to that roof. So I'm gonna try to wet it first, get what I can off, keep this building nice and wet. And then I'm gonna hit it with, uh, some 12 volt action, probably gonna go pretty hot. I think I'm gonna go nearly straight SH and just try to get that stuff to liquefy. And then we're gonna rinse it all down. So we'll be back with you in a minute. We're getting set up. So there's your new chimney cap, pretty simple. Just uh, these set screws that go in. So literally just gotta go up there, undo the old one, set the new one on. I just gotta make sure it's nice and straight, pretty easy. Old cap, new cap. Not even anything wrong with the old cap, just dirty. Shiny new cap. And I'm getting down, start 12 volting. In an effort to kill that vertical moss pretty quick, I'm putting some straight shock in my batch tank right here, pulling from this tank through my Gen 2, discharging into this tank. I had about five or six gallons of old roof wash in there. So I'm gonna add about 10 or 15 gallons of straight shock and this is gonna be like lightning. And then it just added one whole 64 ounce container of this soap so in my opinion that'll be uh, heavy on the soap side at about 20 or 20 or so gallons with the total mix and we'll see what it does all right quinn's getting everything wet all the vegetation he's gonna wet all this log siding so hopefully i don't spot anything before i start putting up sh not terrible not terrible cool. <laughs>
wash this whole log cabin, so we're gonna keep it diluted. Okay, we're done. Quinn is on the final rinse, sweeping things up. I wound up putting a step ladder on here, stood about there, and I hit that with the X-Jet back and forth, being as careful as I could. Lift all that heavy stuff out of there. Big difference. And uh, what does remain up there is very dead. I want to probably put in about a 7%, maybe 8% up there. I had maybe a few gallons of house wash, a roof wash left, and I filled up with straight shock, about 10 gallons. So I figured I was probably shooting about seven, maybe a little hotter than that. And then I got a nice new chimney cap up there for the guy. So we're all good, wrapping it up. I'm out here with Quinn fired up on job number three, just getting started. Pointing the gun at the foundation until the soap starts to come out. And then he's going to downstream soap the whole whole side of this third project. Alright, I'm gonna walk you guys around, show you what we got here. Nothing crazy. We're shooting all this from the ground. Again, we're still out here in beautiful Woodstock. I try to group my jobs together as much as possible. I am in a rural area, so you know. A lot of my jobs are 10, 15, 20 minutes, half hour apart. So I try to keep them together as much as I can. Pretty dirty up in the eaves. Not too bad though. Overall, this house is pretty clean. No real plantings close by. This guy's a mason and he's doing some beautiful stonework. Look at this stuff. The guy's chinked all this together himself. Look at that. So that's the only tricky thing. We'll be dragging hose up and down these stairs and not moving any rocks around. He's still working on all this. Beautiful though. A little dirty here and there. A couple nests, no big deal. And we're gonna treat that deck on the way by. I just leave it like I set it and forget it. You know, I'm gonna hit that with house wash and not rinse it very well and just let it dwell. So that's it, we're cranking. This little house came out beautiful. All the yellows, off-white yellows on this house were dingy. They pop like crazy right now. Clients can be very happy. Man, you always gotta take three seconds and put your client's water source back on the way it was. Don't just disconnect your hose and be gone. Put it back just the way you found it. All right, Quinn and I are all set up on job number three here. We are got all of our hoses already pulled. We're doing a pool patio back here. Um, nothing too crazy, big enough. I've uh, taken the roof wash that I made earlier, which was probably about seven or eight percent, and I've cut it in half. So I'm hoping I'm shooting three, maybe four percent for a uh, pre pre wash here, which is nice and hot. I don't want to be here all day. We're gonna clean all this black that's off of here. It's been done once or twice before. You can see the brush marks. We're gonna use the Surface Max surface cleaner on this and make short work of it. I'm gonna take a couple before and after pictures for a little marketing piece. Again, you can see the, the marks was feathered around. So they've, they've maintained it, done a good job. We're gonna crank this pretty quick. Quinn's just getting the uh, water taken care of real quick. We're done. Came out beautiful. Took me less than an hour to start to finish. And uh, the client is thrilled with it. She says it hasn't looked this good since they poured it brand new. So 
we're loving it. Okay, we're on to job number five, and that's uh, not counting our house wash upgrades. So we actually had six-ish projects today. So catch you guys soon. Friends out here on job number five. It's been a long day. It is 3.30, and we're starting our last project. This is a nice, easy downstream for us. Nice, nice ranch, one level. It's a little bigger in the back. It's bumped out in the back. Uh, we've got a fresh batch of 1% made. I put 12 gallons of straight shock in there and added about three gallons of water. It puts me uh, just a hair under, or hair over 0.9. And we've got a half, 32 ounce or so of uh, LA Awesome laundry detergent in there for surfactant. So we're gonna jump right in and start downstreaming this. All right, me and Quinn are done. That was uh, five projects with a couple little upsells today. We upsold the house wash. So it turned into uh, kind of five-ish, six-ish projects for us. This last project, we upsold him uh, washing his back patio. So we made a couple extra bucks on that. And the guy just gave us like a $50 tip on the last job. And the neighbor comes down the road and says, hey, I need you to wash this house, that house, that garage, and another house. So I just picked up four more buildings to wash on the same street. Uh, so fantastic day for us and uh you guys like and subscribe to my channel and we'll be back out again watching tomorrow here comes quinn like we don't get enough work done during the day he decides he wants to run a quarter mile at the end of the day so he's finishing up the last leg of the lap right here jeans tennis shoes look at him knees up kid is made out of braided steel let's go quinn let's go quinn Look at this kid, a madman. Okay, let's go. <laughs> That's enough for today?